So we're gonna try and catch a fish, do some island hopping and also camp on an island tonight. So we've just pulled up to the boat ramp. It is absolute glass out on the water. So we're gonna try and catch a fish today, do some island hopping and also camp on an island tonight. Are you excited? So excited. It's actually got a nice sunset, sunrise. I might be an hour late, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh my God, so. This car was flashing me on the highway, so I pulled over and they said my dog cage door was up and I've just lost a heap of bags all over the road. So, thanks legend. Oh, <laughs> that's my bag. All of my valuable bags. My bag's gone from the back. They literally said it's up at the service station, which is what, a kilometer back? I think all my camera gear. He said it's up at the service station. Oh my God, literally a backpack and shit in the middle of the road. Oh my God. There's our stuff right there. Just on the side of the road. Anyone could have run over that. Backpack number one. Backpack number two. Why am I coming on a trip with Jazz? I just gotta lose my stuff. We're pretty lucky to have gotten that stuff back. And we're pretty lucky it didn't fall off in the middle of the road and, and didn't get run over and stuff. All of my GoPro gear. My shit's still in there, so I don't really care. <laughs> no more mishaps today. Oh my god. Got I'm literally getting back. flashbacks from the time me and Molly went island camping because this exact thing happened. But shout out to the guy in the blue Hilux who was a Hilux? Or... You're asking the city girl uh, these questions. <laughs> I don't know. It was a blue car. <laughs> it was a blue ute. Anyway, shout out to you for, for flashing us and um and letting us know. Otherwise, if it wasn't for you, we would have gotten all the way to Mission Beach and our shit would have been missing. And we're really hoping for no more mishaps no. today. I'm manifesting like to the ocean gods. We're not. This is gonna be a good trip. This is gonna be a good trip. Say it. This is gonna be a good trip. What? The <laughs> this is what I've been dealing with the whole trip. Maybe not spilling it everywhere, but. <laughs> All right, so we've just pulled up to the boat ramp. It is absolute glass out on the water. So we're gonna try and catch a fish today, do some island hopping and also camp on an island tonight. Are you excited? So excited. So I'm just about to load the ski up. Absolute perfect conditions. The boat ramp is packed, so I'm gonna have to park somewhere up there. I have not been out here and seen it this flat before. So it's like perfection. Absolute perfect conditions. Now, last time I went island camping on the jet ski, I crammed everything on the jet ski. I now have a new little gadget. It's called a Jet Tech sled. It basically attaches to the back of the jet ski. There's a big duffel bag that goes on top and you can cart around all of your camping gear or literally anything you want. It's a waterproof bag. I haven't used it yet. It's still in the wrapper. I'm so excited to use this. It's going to save me so much hassle. I can just chuck the gas cooker, all the camping gear straight in here. So we're going to set that up now. Comes with a little pump. Are you pumping or am I pumping? You're pumping. What? <laughs> you should be pumping. <laughs> it's your toy. <laughs> right, so now we're going to chuck these bungees on and then they're going to clip here. So... Emma? <laughs> oh, I'm getting put to the test, guys. Over <laughs> there? Yep. Hey, I don't need your help. <laughs> now, I just did something naughty. I'm supposed to clip this up here properly and, and use the proper Jet Tech Esky, but all I have is a Sea-Doo Esky and I kind of need rod holders at the moment. So, the Esky is not actually clipped in. I'm going to ratchet strap that on. I'm, uh, yeah, going to do a bit of a, a backyard cowboy sort of situation here. Don't do this. <laughs> if you buy the sled, do it all properly. Hurry up. <laughs> if you're going to go ahead and buy this, make sure you have a compatible esky. I can literally already see Mike, the owner, <laughs> the owner of Jet Tech, cr absolutely cringing at this video. <laughs> 
Emma's huffing and puffing. She wants to be on the water already. Come and come and help me do this, and we'll get her. No. plenty of room for all our stuff. Cheer up, Buttercup. She's look, like, look, look she, at the weather, and we're. She's like, around. she's clip it on that. Well, pull it up, then you're free. <laughs> this is probably one of the coolest things I've seen. You heard it here first, guys. Yeah, because honestly, <laughs> when I used to just try and jam everything in the jet ski, it was a, a bloody nightmare. Do you know how that works? <coughs> Do you? I'm gonna learn. You just pull it. Oh, look at me. I'm not no city girl no more. What did you pack? Two suitcases. Emma's doona <laughs> and pillow she brought. Yeah. Now, Emma is uh, just at the back holding the sled up so that it's not dragging along the ground. Look at her. She's, she's hating this. Emma's not too keen to go fishing, she wants to go tan, I but I said we're going fishing. <laughs> yeah, so we're about halfway to Wheeler Island. Honestly, around here is so stunning. I didn't realize how pretty it was. Uh, just south of Cairns. So I've never been down here fishing or island camping um, But there's so many little islands all over the place with beautiful beaches So we're really keen to get to Wheeler dump dump some of the stuff that we have and then do some exploring Chuck the drone up and try and catch some dinner We do have sausages, but nobody nobody wants sausages for dinner. So there is Wheeler Island where we're gonna be camping it's got a really nice beach there. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow. Oh my God. Now there is a beware of crocodiles warning for this island, but you know, it's that shallow around here. We'd be able to see it coming from like a kilometer away. So not too bothered. Guys, this is our home for the night. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is so stunning! I really hope we can uh, catch a fish to have for dinner tonight. Even if we don't, I'm just stoked to be here. Honestly, it doesn't get any better than this. This is where we're gonna set up the tent, maybe here or a bit further in. We've got a picnic table and this is our view. <laughs> Holy moly. This is absolutely stunning. There's nothing that could make me happier right now. Unless we went out and caught, caught a fish for dinner. Emma has brought these fancy freaking Sheridan sheets only for the best, the queen. And I've got <laughs> literally an inflatable $2 pillow. She's got an inflatable pillow this well, small and I've got a double. So I'm going to be sleeping right. Look, just toughen up, princess. <laughs> Do you know how to set up a tent? Well, you go and learn. Oh, yeah, this is a king. Where are the tents? Not bad for a city girl. Not bad for a city girl. You see this country? You see this? <laughs> I did this, which does help. How did I get bloody stuck with the pumping again? Yeah, it actually fits in there <laughs> quite nicely. It's real snug in there. Look at this prime Duna, Duna set that I've got for myself, but I'm willing to share it with Jazz and she's going to be thanking me in the morning. You got no words, do no, you? I don't. No, no, you got no words. You want this or your sleeping You're bag? You're always going to use the sleeping you bag. You want this or your sleeping bag that. or your hammock? That. Hey. <laughs> I was just going to sleep on a little inflatable uh, pillow and maybe in a hammock. I really didn't bring anything to sleep in, so... What? Ooh! <laughs> that is so cool. I'm going to call pest control before we sleep here tonight. You don't like spiders, do you? I don't have a fetish <laughs> That for is them. huge! Honestly, guys, that's about the size of my hand. And, and look how far away our tent is. 
It's close. Mate, it's not gonna get you. So we're gonna blow up the island now. So our home for the night is set up. So now we're gonna try and catch a fish. We're not on anymore, are we? Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, that's just the lure, mate. I'd be able to tell um, if there was a fish on there. But at the put side, it, I was. Put it back in. <laughs> we just had a fish on. Uh, uh, we didn't grab it fast enough. So, all right, guys. So we've been trolling around for the last couple hours. Emma's a bit over it. Oh yeah. I am. Yeah. I am. So uh, I would keep going until dark, to be honest. But um, we want to have an adventure. But Emma wants to go on an adventure. Go I would rather out. catch fish, but Emma wants to go on an it's adventure. Would rather not just fish? No. Please? I love it, but no. I'm over it now. It's been two hours too long. <laughs> you can fish in the morning. Righto, so unfortunately no fish. We've just come back to the island. I've anchored the jet ski and now we're going to cook dinner, which is going to be sausages. I wasn't allowed to st stay out fishing for too long. <laughs> We've gonna, we're going to have a nice sunset, I reckon. We've got some people camping just over there as well. Uh, so that actually gives me a bit of peace of mind because if the jet ski decides to take off, then at least there's someone someone with a boat to save us. L-I-V-I-N, living. We found this bit of driftwood which acts perfectly as a table. It's pretty flat, so looks like a pretty good place to have dinner. Right, I'm gonna chuck the drone up because the sunset is looking so good. Obviously don't want to be on our phones on a camping trip, so this is this is how we amuse ourselves. We're doing arts and craft in the sand, collecting cuttlefish and coral and writing. Em loves jazz. Do this is how I, this is how I keep Emma entertained at yeah. night. <laughs> because I don't want to be playing with bush spiders and snakes. I want to be playing with bush spiders. Anything creepy crawly. Can we go find some bush spiders? No, we've already found one and it's too close to our camp. Righto, so we're gonna call it a night now. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really glad Emma brought these white Sheridan sheets. <laughs> the ski is still there, which is a bonus. But yeah, old mate's beached over here. I wanna go home to my bed now. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yum. So we cooked breakfast this morning and then I thought I'd come out and have a quick trawl around for about an hour or so and we didn't get anything. We didn't even get any hits, so we're just gonna uh, give that up and go explore the islands now. This is so beautiful. Sorry, this is Dunk Island.
This is honestly so bloody beautiful. Basically, we're just gonna chill here for the day. We're gonna do some tanning and yeah, just have a bit of a walk around. And then we're gonna hit the road and uh, head back home. Is that sea glass? I've never seen any in my whole life. Or is that a bottle? Righto guys, so our trip is getting cut a little bit short. We were gonna go explore some abandoned resorts today and uh, do some island hopping, um, but Emma has to get back home. She has to do some work. So we're gonna get going. We're just gonna chill out here for a bit and then we're gonna go pack up our camp and hit the road. But honestly, we've had such a great trip. I'll definitely be going back to Wheeler Island and camping there again. That sled, once again, honestly, saved our life. The amount of stuff we were able to take onto the island. See, this is the sort of stuff Emma and I would rather be doing on a Saturday night, camping on an island than out clubbing. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this little girl's trip. That water in there is hot. Bye, island. Holy. That <laughs> we'll see you again sometime soon. Righto, so we've just packed up camp. Everything's back and loaded. Righto, so we're back at the boat ramp. Jazz is really hangry. We've got to go get some food. <laughs> we've got to go get some food. Yeah, I'm bloody oath I'm hangry. Oh, you don't want to see Jazz when she's hangry. <laughs> Alright, this is how big the duffel bag is. Get in. You could fit two people in here. <laughs> <laughs> you still got room in there. Yeah. Check me out, I'm claustrophobic. I was about to zip it up. <laughs> you know someone died that way. 